So in order for us to connect our Rails application to Twitter, we're gonna need to go to Twitter and create an app on Twitter. So you can go to the developer.twitter.com and create a new app. And once you've done that, um, you'll be able to get your application um, credentials. So what I've got is a application already set up. We have enabled the three-legged OAuth. This is the process that goes from your Rails app to Twitter and back and forth to get your access tokens and let the user approve using their Twitter account on your app. So once you've enabled that, you can also enable that you want to get an email address from users if you want to collect that. Um, but we need to specify a URL that is a callback URL in our app. Now I've already deployed my app to Heroku and uh, we need to make sure that we specify this one for development. So what this is gonna do is say, hey, when Twitter is done and you've approved Twitter, it's gonna redirect you back to auth Twitter callback. And we're gonna define that in our Rails app and handle that response. And um, that is really the only things you need to have set up in your application on Twitter. And so we're going to grab the keys and tokens for this. And we want to grab the API key and secret under consumer keys. These are the keys that we need to have in our Rails app so that we can connect through that OAuth process. So if we click view keys, we're gonna see our API key and our API key secret. And we wanna copy these into our Rails app. Now, Rails actually provides a mechanism for storing credentials securely. So the command for that is called Rails Credentials Edit and you can pass in your environment. We'll say development and we'll have a separate one for production. So we can run this and it will open up our editor so we can add our Twitter keys here. So we'll say Twitter API key and API secret. We'll paste that one in and we will save our file. Now, if you try and use my keys, I will have rotated them or removed my app, so you won't be able to use these keys. You'll need to use the ones that you've set up yourself. So this will create a file called config-credentials-development.key, which is the key to de decrypt your credentials. And then you'll also see config-credentials-development.yaml.encrypted. So the .enc means it's encrypted, and this is the key to decrypt that. And this key you wanna keep outside of your repository. You don't wanna store that in Git, but this one you do. So that's encrypted, no one can get it without these keys. And when we deploy to production, we'll have a production version of these, a production.key and a production.yaml.encrypted, which will store the separate keys for our production version. So with that said, um, we can go into our Rails app now and access these credentials by saying rails.application.credentials.twitter, and that will give us our API key and our API secret as a Ruby hash. So we can use a dig to say Twitter API key to grab those out of the credentials. The credentials is just a big hash, and we can pull out those individual items um, by doing a dig. So we'll be able to use that in our Rails app to actually set up our OmniAuth integration. Now OmniAuth is a gem for doing the OAuth process. It saves you all the trouble of setting all of that up so you don't have to worry about it. And that's what we're gonna install in the next video.